Welcome. My name is Brandon Brodach. I'm going to be talking to you today about leveraging your Sumo platform for security and compliance. I just wanted to give a little bit of a background on myself. Uh, prior to coming to Sumo, I was a local contractor for Brevard County Sheriff's Office. I was assigned to an intelligence community uh, known as the Fusion Centers. Uh, if you guys are familiar with what a Fusion Center is, after 9-11 uh, and the Commission 4 had come out, uh, President Bush had facilitated uh, the intelligence sharing community between you know state, federal, and local partners, and that's what a fusion center was. So I kind of started my career there. I did a lot of cyber intel work, working with various three-letter agencies such as DOD, FBI, DHS, et cetera. Uh, this really launched my career, uh, which has spanned about seven and a half years, and it's allowed me to work with some of the largest enterprise customers in the world through MSSPs, through SIMs, and other technology vendors. Now, here I'm a sales engineer at Sumo. We will have a kind of a Q&A session towards the end. So we will have a chat window. Um, I'll kind of verbally give that cue towards the end of the session when we're ready for questions. In our session earlier today with Dana Torgerson, we kind of walked customers through our different cloud sim solutions. But I realized that some of you may have not seen that presentation. So I just wanted to quickly, you know, kind of recap what we're gonna be covering today. Um, so in on the screen right now, you can see, you know, a little pink box that talks about, you know, the compliance and our security analytics solutions. So that's gonna what I'm gonna be walking through today. On the right hand side of the screen, you do see a cloud sim enterprise piece. Uh, this is session is going to be covered by Eric von der Linden, who's coming out after me. <clears throat> so one of the things that I wanted to walk through first is just how do we leverage Sumo logic for security? So on the screen right now, you can see a query. And this query is looking for an AWS uh, API call, and that's from a threat host, so a threat actor. So I'm going to kind of walk through a couple different things on this slide. Uh, one of the things is the actual query itself, right? And I want to want to call this out because this is one of Sumo Logic's differentiators of a rapid time to value uh, and our cloud native infinite scale. So on the query, right, we can see we're calling out our AWS cloud trail data set. And then right after that, we see some, you know, pipe JSON. So what we're doing is we're actually parsing that data out inline, which allows you to just get your data onboarded into the platform and not have to really worry about, you know, do I have to pre-parse things? Do I have to take the time to actually set it up? We can just get your data onboarded. Kind of the middle of the screen here, we see that there's a, a lookup editor or a lookup function. And what that's looking for is taking the data that's coming in and doing a real-time lookup to CrowdStrike's threat intelligence. And again, that's native with our platform and you get that with your subscription to the Sumo Logic service. Now let's say I have this query and then I wanna convert this to an alert. So now I wanna actually be alerted on it. So if this happens, please send me an alert. We have a variety of different ways to do that. And on the screen on the left-hand side where that kind of blue mark starts is a save as button. So when we save that, we can see here on the screen, we have a variety of, diff of different options and I'll walk through them. One is an, e an email. So this is you know, kind of your generic email that's just gonna send you an email to a distribution group, an individual, uh, maybe a, you know, a platform that allows emails to be received. We then have a script action. So this is where a lot of our security-based customers will take uh, their existing you know, PowerShell scripts or batch scripts or bash scripts uh, and existing you know, scripts they already have in their environment and we're actually able to launch those scripts when an alert has been triggered or saved. So that's what a script action is. Then we have a native ServiceNow integration. So for those customers that have you know, an already investment in ServiceNow, we can hook right into that. And then we have a webhook. So the webhook is just a generic HTTP post uh, that allows us to integrate with any you know, existing or maybe future investments, whether that be SOAR technology, such as the Misto, um, or other tools that you and your org org organization will be using. And then we have a saved index feature. So the saved index feature um, is going to allow you to take the alert data, save it to an index, and then be able to query on that later. So do you know long uh, long trend reporting on that? Uh, do a higher level analysis on what's been firing in your environment. Up next, we're going to talk about log reduce and log compare. So on the screen here, we see uh, log reduce. So what I'm doing here, and what log reduce is, is an ability to take large amounts of data and filter them down you know, to kind of a human readable signatures and allow you to, again, sift through that data really quickly. So on the screen here, I'm looking at my S3 data. So I have an S3 bucket. I don't know if it's public yet. I don't know if it's private, but I just have a lot of logs that are coming into my platform. And towards the middle of the screen where I'm circling on my mouse here, you can see that I have 6,257 results. So as an analyst, I would have to manually scroll through this or look through all of these different events just to figure out what's happening. With LogReduce, I, I took those 6,000 results and I brought them down to three distinct signatures, which you can see here on the screen. So now as an analyst, I'm able to sift through three signatures rather than you know, 6,000 raw logs. 
on the right hand side of the screen, you see this little red box uh, that has a little X mark to it. And I can quickly see here that within my S3 bucket, someone is downloading these types of files. So in this case, they're downloading Eastly.txt or they're downloading a chase.zip, right? Is this banking information? What is this? Uh, is this something that I should be worried about? And then on the left-hand side of my screen where I'm circling now, we can see uh, the, the count for that. So we can see how many times that happened. And again, the analyst can quickly judge, is this, is this bad or is this not bad? Next up is log compare. So once we've gotten the log reduce signatures and we've reduced that data down to those distinct signatures, a lot of times the next question is, well, what do I do with that data? And can I check back to this happen yesterday, two days ago, three days ago, a month, right? And that's what the log compare feature is for. So now I click the log compare button and it shows up on the screen right here where I can actually compare that to 24 hours previously. So again, on the bottom left-hand side in that red box, I can see that 1,200 events are new. So this didn't happen before, uh, which is you know definitely something that's interesting and I should definitely look to investigate. Next up, we're gonna be talking about our outlier detection. So our outlier detection uh, is a great uh, function within the platform. Uh, and what the outlier operator does is allows you to take a large data set uh, or a small data set, depending on what you're looking at, create a baseline of that over time, and then alert you when there's different types of deviations from that. On the top hand, uh, left hand side of the screen, you'll see you know, a, a, an explanation of a multi-dimensional outlier. And where that's really valuable is instead of just looking at the total aggregate of data set, we can break that down by a specific entity. Uh, in this case, you know, a user or an application or those types of things. And that's what we're doing here on this search. So I kind of want to walk through this search because it, you know, it looks like a lot on the screen. So we see here that we have an app user ID and we'll say, you know, Joel, Kyle, or Remy. And we see that their login count was five, four, and three perspectively. Well, all this other data here on the right-hand side is our platform taking that baseline, finding those deviations from that, and then alerting you um, if there's been a violation, which is what this second to the right column is, count violation. So when that value is one, that means that these users have had a violation and this may you know, be malicious or something may be happening here and the analyst really needs to look at it. And it also gives you, you know, their count mean, which is you know, that baseline. So how often are they logging into an application? Next up, you know, I. I wasn't going to touch on Cloud Sim Enterprise, but I did uh, want to kind of give you guys a teaser uh, so that way, Eric's session after me, you can follow that up with that. So in this example here of, of our Cloud Sim Enterprise, I'm actually leveraging that outlier function uh, to alert when there's you know been different actions in different applications within my environment. So the first two uh, on the screen you can see here are Black Duck and Coverity, and I'm looking and alerting on when a user has done more than their specific actions or a specific action in the platform. But you can see here, and I'm actually correlating that across these different applications on the same user. So now as an organization, you don't have to worry about, well, how am I gonna track what somebody's doing in this application or this application with our normalization in Cloud Sim Enterprise and using the cross correlation here, we're able to bring that up to you. I also wanted to highlight something else as well. Uh, you know, Because Sumo is born in the cloud and we're cloud native, you know, we're really helping our customers in their migration to the cloud. Uh, and this use case is a wonderful example of that. So here we're showing you, you know, different users actions in GCP, um, Azure or AWS. And we're bringing that all together, again, correlating that on the same entity and bringing that to you. And a lot of organizations just aren't in one cloud, right? They use Azure, they use AWS because they want that sense of, you know, a safety net where they have different cloud operators. So if one goes down, they're fine. Next, I'm gonna be talking about our out-of-the-box content and our work from home solution. So within your Sumo Logic platform, you have what's called the app catalog. And we have over 300 plus uh, apps in here. Uh, and we're always adding apps to, to the catalog. And within an app, you can typically find, you know, a pre-built dashboard, uh, maybe some queries or some safe searches that will get you up and ready to go um, as an organization. And I wanted to walk through um, a couple different examples. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we do have different categories. And in this case, we're gonna be really highlighting on the compliance and the security side. So the first one that I wanted to walk through uh, is one from an ASA. So the ASA data would be onboarded into your platform. Again, rapid time to value here, folks. So we're not having to parse things out beforehand. We're just getting the data in, and then you install this app and right out of the box, you're gonna get these types of dashboards. So 
what about endpoint solutions, right? So an example of that would be VMware's Car Urban Black. So here, we're able to actually give you that visibility right out of the box again. You get that car, that carbon black data coming into the platform. And this is an example of a dashboard that you're gonna see here, right? We can see this one is actually leveraging our CrowdStrike Cert Intelligence. So we're providing you visibility into your carbon black and then enriching carbon black with CrowdStrike Cert Intelligence. And, that, and that's what you see here on the screen. And lastly, from an example, I just wanted to show you guys Okta. So again, in here, we're looking at the Okta failed login activity. So we're able to see, you know, across the deployment, what's going on with access to the Okta uh, service. Next, I wanted to talk about our work from home solution. You know, obviously with post COVID and kind of the new normal, you know, their companies really don't have anybody in the brick and mortar shops anymore, right? We're all, we're working, we're working from home or we have this kind of hybrid model. Well, from a security perspective, right? That always scares us because now, you know, we don't really have those security controls that we used to have. So Sumo wanted to assist our customers with that. And we kind of pre-packaged this work from home solution, which you can see here on the screen is in the app catalog as well. But on the bottom left, where I have that highlighted in red, you'll see that in your Sumo Logic instance. So now, you know, we kind of pre-packaged all of these different solutions that typically our customers are leveraging um, from that work from home solution. An example here I wanted to show was Zoom. Um, so obviously, you know, we're constantly using Zoom for our meetings, et cetera. So with that, you know, one here's a great example of from a meeting security, right? If I'm an IT admin or security admin, I want to see what's going on with my Zoom. Are there meetings without passwords? Are there meetings, you know, without waiting rooms? And that's maybe a policy that I have to have here at my organization. You're quickly able to see that and then create alerts from that as well. Next thing I wanted to touch on was our threat intelligence platform. You know, I kind of high mentioned it in the beginning of the slideshow uh, where I was talking about, you know, that first kind of use case leveraging that threat intelligence, but I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into that. So here on the screen, we can see, you know, how we leverage CrowdStrike. So we have IPs, URLs, domain, hashes, and emails. Uh, and, we, and you as a customer get access to these IOCs included in your subscription with, with Sumo Logic. And in the app catalog, we actually have two different apps for this. Um, they're the same thing, but one's more generic. So for any type of log source, and again, it goes right back to that rapid time to value I keep, talk, I keep talking about here, is you can just onboard your data set and Sumo in this pre-built app will actually just parse all those things out, right? So we'll parse out the IP addresses, we'll parse out the emails, the usernames, the hashes, et cetera, and we'll do that for you at scale where you don't have to worry about having to do that and you're getting instant value and enrichment from CrowdStrike Threat Intelligence. And then lastly, you know, we have that threat intelligence piece for AWS as well. So we were born on AWS. Again, we're cloud native, so AWS is our strong suit. So we built a customized, you know, threat intelligence package for that as well, le leveraging the AWS data. <clears throat> and here's just one example of our pre-built dashboards leveraging this threat intelligence. And in this case, I'm looking at specific IPs, but you can quickly start to see, you know, where the threats are coming in from a source perspective, right? Which is the top right panel of that dashboard. And then kind of in the middle on the left-hand side, you'll see threat by actors, right? So we're instantly giving you attribution uh, and where the threats are coming into your environment in a rapid time to value pace. So you as a security analyst can start to address these, uh, maybe start blocking or making some procedural changes here. And one of the things that I really wanted to touch on uh, is that one of, again, one of Sumo's differentiators with how we're global benchmarking uh, our AWS customers um, you know, with themselves in anonymized data sets, right? So we're taking anonymized data sets and we're creating a baseline so that way you can see how you're stacked up against your peers, right? And again, we can see firsthand the kind of AWS threats that other Sumo Logic customers are seeing. So you're not the only, only one that may be seeing this. Uh, we can also see, you know, how is your attack surface? What are the critical events? What are the potential threats? Uh, and again, how those compare to your peers. And again, because Sumo is cloud native and we were born in the cloud and we're cloud experts here, we wanted to share that expertise with you, the customer. So on the bottom left-hand side of my screen, you can see this action plan. So it's great that we alert you on these things. It's great that we give you this visibility and we show you, you know, what threats are coming in, whether they're back doors, then maybe it's reconnaissance, et cetera. That's all great. But if I can't help you solve those problems, right, then I'm just giving you visibility. So that action plan on the bottom left is actually giving you recommendations uh, from Sumo Logic of how, how, how would we address this, right? How did we address this in our own AWS instance? And again, just some of the services that are covered by this are EC2, S3, IAM, RDS, Redshift, et cetera. And lastly, I just wanted to touch on compliance made easy, right? How can Sumo Logic help you uh, in your or organization when it comes to your compliance needs. 
So here on the screen, we see an example of ISO 27000. Um, so again, this is a compliance that a lot of organizations either are required to follow or a lot of customers just like to follow this framework. So quickly here on the screen, you're able to see the different types of requirements or controls within that. And then you can see a link that's highlight or I'm, I'm sorry, underlined on the, on the screen here. And because that's underlined, you can actually click that and it's gonna take you to the next page that will actually then show you, you know, all the different logs uh, and things that are, uh, all the logs that are meant for that compliance control. <clears throat> next, I'm gonna show HIPAA. So again, very similar to ISO 27000, we have the different controls here on the screen. Uh, we have the different uh, logging mechanisms and you can see again, you know, where we have a link for that or where logs are required, customer can just quickly hit that and then they're having and seeing the logs. We also have pre-built content across the 12 PCI DSS uh, requirements. Uh, we are up to date currently at PCI DSS version 3.2.1. Um, and like everybody else, right, we're patiently waiting uh, for version four to come out, which should be around mid uh, 2021. We offer a general compliance app, which is what you can see here on the left-hand side. So this is just gonna map you know, to the different uh, log sources that you have in your environment and it's not vendor specific. However, we have offered, you know, kind of the the pop, the popular vendors, we've offered a, an app specifically for that. And I just wanted to show an example of that. So in this case, this is the AWS CloudTrail uh, and we're looking at the different um, PCI requirement 01 in terms of access monitoring. Uh, so you can see the different uh, data sets that we actually provide to you for that. And again, this is just one example um, of how we can provide you visibility into the PCI requirement. Uh, we actually have another session um, for it's Dan Reardon's demo, Compliance Made Easy. So he's actually going to be going in depth into this and actually click clicking through the different dashboards. Um, and if you have very specific compliance questions uh, or needs, I urge you to go see that demo. So in summary, I just wanted to kind of recap what we talked about today. Uh, one is using Sumo Logic for security. Uh, we talked about how we can leverage log reduce and log compare. Uh, we talked about how we can use our outlier function to actually detect anomalous user behaviors. And I kind of teased uh, for Cloud Sim Enterprise how we can do that you know, across multiple apps or even cloud vendors. So now you're able to get that visibility there. Uh, I walked through our out of the box content and our work from home solution. I then touched on our CrowdStrike's threat intelligence and how we do the AWS global benchmarking and that value add that we're gonna provide you right out of the box there with your subscription to Sumo Logic. And then lastly, I touched on how Sumo can make compliance easy. Well, I wanna thank you for your time today, folks. Now let's open it up for some questions. As a reminder, please just type them in the chat box. Thank you.